Let's take a look at how Chimera X can make uh, protein structure predictions using AlphaFold in just tens of minutes instead of hours. So I made these optimizations to Chimera X uh, just today. It's July 2022. And uh, I really didn't do the hard work. It was uh, done by these authors of CollabFold. Uh, they've improved the speed of AlphaFold by making a special sequence alignment server, which is very fast, and optimizing the AlphaFold code itself. So I just used that in Chimera X. Let's take a look at how, uh, how we can uh, run AlphaFold predictions in Chimera X. Uh, so we're going to take a look at this uh, dimeric complex. It's a bacterial complex. Uh, it's involved in injecting proteins into eukaryotic host cells. All right, so I'm going to close it, and we're going to make a prediction of this complex from the sequences. So I'll use tools, structure prediction, alpha fold, and I'm going to paste in the sequences of those two proteins. So I'll go to my web browser where I have the sequences, and I'm just going to copy and paste. These two proteins are small. It's only about 200 amino acids in total. I just chose that so we could do a, a pretty fast prediction for this demonstration. So I separate the two sequences by a comma, paste them in. If I want, there are a few options in how to do the prediction. If I click this options button, I could use uh, templates from the protein data bank, template structures. Or, and I can also energy minimize the resulting structure. I'm going to just leave it at the default, which is the fastest to, to not use templates or energy minimization. And then I press the predict button. And um, as before, this runs on Google Colab. Whoops, I accidentally just dropped this into the... All right, hold on just a second here. Let me get this. This runs on Google, Google Colab servers. And let's see. And uh, it will bring up this warning dialog saying the code that's coming from Chimera X is not from Google. And we click Run anyways. OK, so now we're going to uh, wait for a little while. We're not going to actually wait. I'm going to uh, just speed up this video later. But this is going to take about five minutes to predict Five, mo five models of that structure. And um, what do I want to tell you about it? Um, formerly, uh, with, the, with the previous way of running AlphaFold, this calculation took a couple hours. So it's a huge speed up. So let's, let's wait until this is done. Uh, and then we'll talk a little bit about what the output from ColabFold looks like, some of the images showing sequence coverage um, and the uh, resulting structures. Okay, so five minutes went by, Google Colab servers computed uh, using this Colab fold uh, some models of this, this dimeric complex. Let's take a look. It loaded automatically into Chimera X the best of those structures. This is the, the usual confidence coloring. Blue is very confident and yellow and red less confident. We could change that to color the two proteins using these toolbar entries color by chain. Let's take a look at what the, uh, the output, that Colab fold logged. It made some nice images um, as it ran. Let me make this window a little narrower. And let's scroll to the top. So first it, it did the sequence alignments. Um, it, it found about 300 sequences that matched the input sequences of these two proteins. Um, and you can see 
Let me make this window a little taller. Um, this black curve shows the number of sequences it found at, at each residue position. So along the horizontal axis, we have two, the 200 residues. You see that there's a black dividing line. On the left is the first protein. It's about 120 residues. And on the right is the second protein. AlphaFold just, um, just concatenates them together. Uh, so this black curve shows the coverage of each of those proteins. That's useful to take a look at. So about 250 sequences cover the, the C terminus of the first protein, but less cover the N terminus. And the second protein, we've got about 100 sequences covering that. Um, what are these colors? Um, so each of the horizontal lines indicate the actual C individual sequences. So you see how much they cover. Um, so, for instance, these red lines near the bottom, they only cover the, the, um, the latter half of the first protein, the, uh, the C terminus of the, of the protein. And what do the colors mean? Well, red means there's low sequence identity, and green and blue are higher sequence identity. The, there's a little color key on the right here. Um, it, you see it orders them by sequence identity, so the ones with more sequence identity are near the top. If you look near the top here, you see um, both uh, some green for protein 1 and protein 2. That is because it's paired up two sequences for the two proteins that came from the same organism. And then further down here, we see sequences for protein 1, but on the right, it's just white. Those are sequences where an organism only had a um, homologous sequence for protein 1. And then over here, here on the right, these are where protein 2, there was a sequence for protein 2, but there was no sequence for protein 1 in a given organism. All right, so that's what this pretty complicated sequence coverage plot is telling you, and it's useful to look at to get an idea of whether you can trust the alpha fold prediction. You want high sequence coverage and high sequence identity, and you, and you want pairs of sequences from the same organism so that it gets the right dimeric interface, interface between the two proteins. Once it's made the sequence alignment, it predicts five, using five different trained neural networks. This just gives you, uh, they were trained a little bit differently, and it gives you just some slightly different predictions. So the first one here, it shows a colored image. This is coming from Colab Fold of um, colored image of the, the, the first complex it predicted, the predicted aligned error plot, and then each of the chains colored individually so you can see how they're packed together better. And it does that for all five. And then they're automatically downloaded into Chimera X. So these graphics are just static images that help you see the progress as the run is being done. If you like, say, the sequence coverage image, that's downloaded along with the structures. Uh, it will be in your downloads folder. Let me show you where Chimera X downloaded this data. Um, so it, down, it downloaded it under Downloads, and then Chimera X. Let's see, where's my Chimera X folder? And Alpha Fold. And then there are a bunch of directories that say Prediction. Well, there might only be one if it's your first prediction, but I've made lots of them. So Prediction 42 is the most recent. And these are the files that we just predicted. And among them, there's the, the, these PNG image files. So this coverage one, coverage.png, make this a little smaller, shows you just that same image in case you want to use it in a presentation. Okay, uh, anything else to tell you? So of course, once you're in Chimera X, you can then examine the structures, um, change their display style, look at the, the atoms. Uh, you may want to look at the error plot, the predicted errors, and this error plot button on the right uh, on the alpha fold panel can show you the predicted aligned errors. All right. Um, anything more to say? This is available uh, in Chimera X 1.4. Um, you'll also see it in Chimera X 1.3. That was from about a year ago, and it only could predict a single protein, so better to get an updated Chimera X. And the Chimera X daily builds, um, 
from July on will have the options I listed here. So thanks for listening.